Good day everyone, this is Decadetia Onrico and today I am going to demonstrate on how to conduct a compass correction in application with a variation on the chart and the deviation table to compute for the compass error. So let's get started. This is the materials needed in doing the exercise. I have here pencil, triangle, eraser, Example of deviation table and the chart number one. And this is the scenario. At 1200 hours, the vessel is at the vicinity of Laguna Gulf with by visual observation using the magnetic compass, the OOW observed Shalat Point and Aguho Point in transit which bore. 345 degrees PSC or per standard compass. The first step is to update the variation of the chart to the present year. Now we are in year 2021 and the year on the chart is 2013. So in 2021, we'll have to subtract it to 2013. We will able to come up with 8. Now we will have to multiply this to the variation on the chart every year, which is 2 minutes west. 2 minutes west, we will have 16 minutes west. To convert this to degrees, we will have to divide it by 60. So we will have 0 degrees, 16 minutes west. Now, we will have to add the variation or to subtract the variation on the chart in 2013 so we'll have 1 degrees and 15 minutes 1 degrees and 15 minutes west how will you know if we were going if we were going to subtract or add so if they are in the same direction you will have to add and if they are in different direction, you will have to subtract. So now, they are in the same direction. So we will able to come up with 1 degrees 31 minutes west. And rounded, off, rounded it off to 2 degrees west. This is now the variation in year 2021. The second step is to conduct a compass correction. Since we are giving a bearing of 3, 4, 5 degrees PEC, so meaning we are looking to compass course to true course or compass bearing to true bearing. So, can, dead, man, vote twice at election. So if we are going to Compass course to true course, we will have to subtract west and add east. Now, if we are going to look for compass course from a true course, we will have to add west and subtract east. But in our scenario, we are given a compass course, a compass bearing of 3, 4, 5 degrees PSC. So meaning we are going to compass course to true course and we will add east and subtract west. So now we will have to look for the deviation table to look for the deviation on a course of 345 degrees PSC. Since the deviation you are looking is at the middle or in between of two values, we will have to go to an interpolation. This is how to interpolate the deviation value when the value we are looking is in between two values. So, since the course or the bearing 345 degrees is in between with 340 degrees and 360 degrees, so this is how it goes. 340 degrees, the upper value, and the middle we are looking is 3, 
four, five degrees, and the lower val the lower value is three six zero degrees. To get the middle, we will have to subtract this from upper value or the, to the larger value subtracted by lower value. So three four five subtracted by three four zero degrees will have a difference of five degrees. And 360 subtracted by 340 degrees we will have a difference of 20 degrees. Now, we will look to the value on the deviation table. The value of 340 degrees which has 4 degrees west. And the value of 345 degrees since it is unknown, we will mark it x. And the value of 360 degrees is 6 degrees west. Now we will calculate it. Since we cannot subtract it because there has no value, now we will subtract these two. 6 degrees subtracted by 4, which has a difference of 2 degrees west. Now, we will get this value 4 degrees west plus and bracket we'll get this value to 2 degrees west times 5 degrees divided by 20 degrees get our calculator and of operate this first 5 divided by 20 multiply by 2 and add it by 4 degrees west now we have 4.5 degrees or we will round it, rounded it off to whole number which is 5 degrees. This is the deviation of 3, 4, 5 degrees PSC. Now we already know the deviation in 3, 4, 5 degrees which is 5 degrees west. So we are going to compass to true course. We will subtract west. So 345 subtracted by 5 degrees west which becomes the magnetic course will become 340 degrees since we already know our deviation we have solved it and we have updated it to the present year the deviation is 2 degrees west so we will subtract again 340 subtracted by 2 degrees west since we will use this operation from compass to true course. So we are able to come up with 338 degrees. This is now the true bearing. Repeat the same process if you are given a ship's course. I have already corrected the ship's course. Now I have a true course of 329 degrees true from a compass course of 335 degrees PSC. Now we will have to plot the true course and the true bearing as instructed in the A plan. So first I will be plotting the true course which is 329 degrees this is 3 to 9 degrees so we we'll walk this in Lagunoy Gulf area here we'll put a line indicated as a ship's 
course. Now I know that somewhere here is the position of the vessel. So as what is in the scenario, we will have the true bearing of shallot, shallot point and aguho point which is 330 degrees true bearing. So we'll plot this on the chart. 338 degrees true bearing. 338. 339, 338. This is a 338 degrees bearing. So we will walk this to the ship's course. Here. This is a range bearing of 338 degrees from Shalad point to Aguhu point. This is now our line of position. Now I can say that the vessel is somewhere here. Estimated position in 1200 hours in addition we will have to compute for the compass error which is the deviation applied by the variation plus or minus plus is addition if the same direction subtraction if in different direction so we have the variation of two degrees west the deviation is 5 degrees west and we have a compass error of 7 degrees west. Now we will try to plot the compass course and the magnetic course to show to you if we didn't apply the compass error or the variation and the deviation that there is a possibility that our vessel will be aground somewhere in here in this area. This is a compass bearing of 345 degrees. As you can see, it is very far from the true bearing. Now, this is the magnetic bearing which is 340 degrees. So this is the compass bearing this is the magnetic bearing and this is the true bearing from compass bearing to magnetic bearing we have the application of deviation so this is the angle of the deviation which is five degrees west now from magnetic course to true bear uh, from magnetic bearing to true bearing, which is, we have this as variation. So this angle here, this angle here is 2 degrees west. With a combination of the variation and the deviation, from true bearing to compass bearing, we have a compass error so the, comp the angle here from true bearing to course uh, to compass bearing is our compass error which is seven degrees west that is how you are going to conduct a compass correction and plotted it on the chart i hope you learned something again this is the cadet yaon Rico. Thank you and God bless.